What's up, guys? It is Monday. Um, as you can tell, I am back home. Just got back from Vegas yesterday, which was Sunday, and um, been working all day today. And so I'm about to head out on a break uh, to go drop off some clothes at the dry cleaners and then also pass by a vitamin shop to pick up some supplements and also go to a Goodwill because I'm looking for a used sewing machine. I have a project that I want to work on, and I don't know why I'm talking with my hands so much, but I talking with my hand work on i need a sewing machine for it and hopefully make a video about that but for today's fit starting at the top we have a snapback uh that says let go for dear life this is by the brand go F go fast don't die uh it's like a motorcycle themed brand um and i picked it uh first of all because i haven't worn it in a while but also because this kind of plays off the pants which are these camo print dickies uh, and then up here, we have a Gap button-down uh, blue and white striped shirt. And then sneakers, we have some green authentic uh, suede pants. <laughs> um, and to be honest, today the fit's also kind of like, I was going to wear a shirt, but if I'm totally honest, I've been feeling kind of uh, fluffy, shall we say. Um, well, yesterday I ate a whole bag of chips and all that salt kind of made me feel a little bloated, but also staying with my mom for a week. I've uh, been eating more than usual, also eating foods that I don't normally eat. And if I'm totally honest, you know, like I used to be relatively big, like 235 pounds big. And that was a long, long time ago, and I'm far from that now. But uh, I do have some body dysmorphia every now and then. So when clothes start to feel a little tight, uh, whether um, it just kind of like triggers this feeling like, oh my God, I'm getting fat, even though I'm not. Um, but I haven't stepped on the scale because <laughs> also seeing numbers that are higher than my normal numbers does like trigger some kind of like, uh, feeling and I don't want that. I know I am bloated. I know that I have some weight put on, but it's nothing to be worried about, to be honest, because it's just going to go away because I'm going to go back to my normal eating habits. And so that'll all be gone. But right now and today I am feeling bloated. So I did pick a, a shirt that's a little looser uh, and flowy uh, just to help kind of like re relieve that big feeling, shall I say. I hope, I don't know if anyone else has this feeling, uh, whether you're a guy or, or, or a lady, um, we all have these issues, uh, but that's how I'm feeling today. So uh, that's the fit. I will see you guys in the next clip. Slide edit. I just had to change the hat. I'm going to go with the blue LA Dodgers. Uh, that back baseball cap what's up guys so for anyone that might need to hear this because i realized when i was saying this earlier about you know like body dysmorphia and just like not feeling confident um first of all know that you're worth it right and like i learned a lesson late in life where I didn't understand what I was, what I did or what I was doing, but I devalued myself and comparing myself to others and what we see on TV. And not to get too, not to get too deep here, but we gotta learn how to value ourselves and be happy with ourselves. And so it's not, it's inevitable to have triggers that may cause some old feelings to come up, which is fine and normal. But it's it's how we handle those feelings and how we and how we action to not feel those feelings anymore or to lessen those feelings as they come along. And so for anyone that may need to, may, who may need to hear this, who may have similar issues or what, or what have you, know that you're enough. And I've learned this the hard way, uh, or maybe the long way, I should say, not understanding that I have a lot of value that a lot of other people see that I'm, I did not see before. And in retrospect now, I understand that. And sometimes when I have these feelings of doubt, I have just have to look in the mirror and just like really intensely look into my own eyes and as awkward as it is, and just say, Mark, you are perfect as you are. And you are an amazing human being. And you have the friends that you have, and you have the family that you have, and you have the things that you have because of you. Because of you, right? Your situation, everything that you have in your life is because of you and no one else. It's all because of your choice. Whether it's bad or good, it's a choice that you've made that have given you those circumstances or those or or those successes or those failures. It's a cho choice that you... From, uh... We're out of storage, so I just delete some videos. But to end this here, 
value yourself, love yourself, be happy with yourself. There's no one else out there like you. And anyone that judges you is insecure in their own right. So be happy with what you see in the mirror and learn. All right, I keep getting cut off because of storage. I think I deleted everything I needed to. So just to finish it off and to end it, learn to love yourself, learn to value yourself, understand that you're more than enough, understand that you are enough. And that's what I'm doing. I'm still learning how to love myself fully uh, with all my flaws if they are flaws because what we also have to understand is that how we see ourselves is not how we see ourselves it's how we think people see us how we think we think people see us because if you ask your friends and you ask your family members and you ask and people that don't even know you they probably will have a different opinion of what you look like of who you are as a person than you have of yourself and it's usually always better <laughs> except for the narcissists out there but uh yeah anyway just wanted to pick up the camera to say that uh for anyone that needs it that you know no one's perfect even the most people even the people that you think are perfect don't think that they're perfect love yourself be kind to yourself and be kind to others what's up guys today is wednesday middle of the week yesterday i didn't do a fit video um it's kind of just busy working and editing and didn't really feel all that great to be honest so i was like i tried i got dressed and i just wasn't like in the mood so i just didn't do one so that's that but today's fit uh running a couple errands uh, also shooting a about to shoot a video that will probably be posted before this not sure but stay tuned for that uh but for the today's fit i'm trying to hold on to summer although september is ending in two days and by the time you guys are seeing this it's probably already october maybe november I'm not even sure how far back. I think I'm like two weeks back in videos. Anyway, tangent. Uh, on the top, so trying to hold on to summer, I have um, this Zara kind of like Hawaiian shirt uh, that I was originally going to wear for my mom's birthday last weekend. And as you guys saw, I changed my mind uh, to the red and white striped polo t-shirt. So um, today I'm wearing this. Uh, it's a little hot here in Long Beach, so holding on to that. Uh, for the denim, we have 502s, which are the slim tapers uh, by Levi's. Uh, I haven't really worn any slim pants in a while, so it feels a little weird. Uh, it's kind of funny how like the waves and trends of fits of pants goes up and down. When I was growing up, it was nothing but baggy jeans and long white tees. And then I moved into a phase of like skinny jeans, like skinny, skinny jeans. And then as I got older, I just kind of like went to like more just like straight slim fit jeans. So not skin tight. Uh, and then went to straight. And then now I'm in like super wide leg trouser mode. So it's a little bit uh, weird to have on slim, slim denim. But it's also a good lesson for those of you who are younger, older, or just someone who just goes through fashion trends, kind of like I do with fits. Like personally, I buy, I try to buy classic staples that no matter what the trend is going on, or what's happening it's it's a classic looking outfit that i personally can wear no matter like what the trend is happening but it's also kind of like a lesson to like to just kind of like learn that like trends do come and go right and fits will come and go so if you buy a nice quality piece you just hang on to it um so you can wear it again essentially and then bam you still have a wardrobe for life so these are the black faded uh we're faded black what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? 502 Slim Tapers. And on the feet, we have the uh, Black Loafers by Kohan. Which, by the way, I think I have to get a new pair of um, Black Loafers because I've had these for a while now and I can kind of feel the soles wearing out to, to the point where like, if I wear them too often, I'll probably uh, eventually wear a hole on the bottom of them. So... I get that changed anyway that's the fit the accessories are the normal accessories uh and i'll see you guys in the next clip today's fit is a what would today's fit be described as you know i don't know i don't know i don't know, like oh i know why so today's fit is inspired and i don't know why i'm smiling very um sad news yesterday uh the rapper the late great coolio has passed away um, and Coolio was a, was very prominent when I was growing up. So I think I subconsciously 
gravitated towards this tea today. It's it's a Wu Tang tea. It's not a Coolio tea, but it's kind of like the same era of like the rap and the hip hop music that I grew up in. Um, and so that's what it, I think that's what inspired this outfit today. Uh, I know that sounds a little weird, but yeah, sometimes we don't realize that like things or choices that we make are subconsciously motivated by something else that you might have seen or done or heard. Um, yeah, total tangent, total weird topic to get into right now. But for today's fit, uh, hair is down. We have this black embroidered patch Wu-Tang tee. Uh, one of my favorite tees. I've had this forever. I actually don't know where I got this from. It's been quite a while. On the bottom, we have what are quickly becoming some of my favorite pants. These are the Dockers uh, trousers, Dockers khakis, wide leg uh, that I thrifted from Vegas. And for the feet, we have the all leather kind of like dirty white, off-white, All Saints sneakers in like a Chuck Taylor style. Um, and the accessories are the basic accessories that I normally wear. And that's the fit. Happy Friday for me. I don't know when you guys are watching this, but it's a Friday. Um, and this is the fit. Uh, the fit's kind of creative today. I haven't done a fit like this in a long time. I feel like a lot of my fits are you know you, I've, I've explained you know some of the inspirations or kind of the motivations behind putting an outfit together uh, in those you know in, in the clips but i haven't like truly truly like made an outfit out of like pure creativity or like more of like my i guess more of my uh how would i say like not normal pieces you know like normally you, like a basic fit like a well-dressed man a well-dressed person in general, a well-dressed person ha uh, ha uh, essentially, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here, ha uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here, you know, um, wears the right, the right fitting clothes uh, in accordance to their size and to their dimensions and all that stuff. And, you know, it's basic and clean lines, usually, you know, and a grown-up fit for those who are, you know, much older, you know, it's nothing with graphics, nothing, you know, crazy um all that all that all that other stuff right but this is not what this is not what but i feel like most of you are about or what i'm about and it's about like putting an outfit together based on creativity or how it makes you feel or how it makes you look no matter you know what that is for you right and so with that long-winded no directional statement to today's fit where i didn't want to just wear a regular shirt with buttons and i didn't want to wear a regular t-shirt and i always forget which is why I redid my closet. I always forget about like all the other things that I own. I even have like things that I store in my bathroom and like in the in the storage shelves there of like sweaters and things I just don't normally wear. I got to bring those back out also so I can kind of like refresh and respark and reignite. Uh, re With that long-winded statement said, I have this. This is a well, let me start from the top. I have the Gorm Brothers wear a gray hat. I have the ha uh, the hair down to one side, and then this is a souvenir tea from Vancouver, Canada. When I went there a couple of years ago, uh, it's a play off of a hockey jersey uh, that I got at the top of a tower, I believe. I forgot what what it was called in Vancouver, but I saw this jersey. I used to play hockey when I was a kid. It's like, oh, it's a cool souvenir, better than just a regular shirt. I think I've worn this once in the house. I've never worn it out. And so here we are today, maybe five years later, maybe four years later, um, I'm finally wearing it as part of an actual outfit. And so this is the jersey. It's navy red and white. It says Vancouver, Canada. Uh, and I'm pairing it with my Levi's engineered denim. Uh, again, wearing it below the waist and just to refresh. I wore these a couple of weeks ago. Um, this is asymmetrical. So you can see the seam here goes this way and that's how they're kind of made and so they're supposed to be sitting up here but because the jersey is wide um, i had it up there actually let me show you okay so this is how it's supposed to sit this is the normal normal fit of it right it kind of tapers towards the bottom but i feel like because this is wide up here it kind of like breaks down it's like that whole like the whole uh, baggy tee and skinny jean vibe that I'm not really about right now. I just don't like the way that the line breaks up. So to combat that or to correct that, I 
I brought it down, which increases the bagginess in the legs. And so where this part of the denim is, it's a lot wider. And so I feel like it just creates a nice streamer line down to the shoes. And I have it stacked at the at the bottom. Stacked is when the pants just fall at the bottom. And then I decided to go another different route and pair them with a pair of brown suede wingtips. And so that's the fit. Uh, the accessories are the normal accessories that I normally wear. And that's it. What's up, guys? I got to figure out like a new way to to come into these clips because as you guys have seen, it's just like one clip after the other for the most part, except for like when I'm vlogging in between. But I feel like when I say what's up, guys, or what's up, guys, or what's up, guys, or what's up, guys, or I don't know. Anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, but for today's fit, it is a Saturday. Uh, so today I am wearing a Navy LA Dodgers New Era cap. Hair is down, tucked behind the ears. Here we have one of my favorite tees, to be honest. I have I have it in this color, like a light brown color. It's by this brand called Hedge, and I picked it up at Nordstrom Rack. And it's this is a small, by the way, and it fits like a nice fitting medium on me. And I'm normally a, a medium. Um, but like the feel of this quality, like the the wash of it, I love it. Don't mind the, the water stains. But and I can't find it anymore. And I wish I can get more colors or at least a couple more uh more pieces of it because um it would be nice to have uh for the pants we have what are quickly becoming my favorite uh dockers uh slack dress pants that I picked up that i thrifted uh, in vegas and then for the bottom uh we have uh, for the shoes i should say we have ultra sneakers in this blue color um so kind of going with like a little bit of like a dad shoe look vibe here um a little modernized fit with that whole thing going on and uh that's the fit guys um today not really doing much just do some editing uh, i am going to check out this goodwill store i don't know if you guys if any of you guys have ever seen uh when goodwill does like these i don't know what to call it like boutique versions of them so like there's this there's this uh i've been to one in orange county it's like a bougie or uh, goodwill if that makes any sense it's more like just selected pieces i guess you could say where I guess Goodwill goes through everything that's donated and they, they pick out the more nicer pieces and then they showcase them in a nicer store. Uh, but the prices are still very Goodwill prices. They're not like, you know, any more expensive. Uh, so there's um, there's one of those here in Long Beach that I just saw uh, the other day. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's in North Long Beach. So I'm gonna head over there. Uh, and then after that, I'm just gonna hang out, chill, and probably just like Netflix a little bit. I've been catching up, wrong word. I just started uh squid game uh and i know i'm very very late to the game on this but it's so good uh and i'm trying to figure out like why i didn't start it before or why i didn't watch it before but anyway that's the fit guys okay I'll, I'll see you guys in the next clip what's up guys new camera set up here um i am using my canon professional camera so if you guys didn't know i am a photographer um and like I've said a million times already, <laughs> I'm trying to do something creative with this channel all around fashion and style. Um, and so I've shot a lot of videos thus far. A lot of them are already pre-scheduled to be uploaded. So by the time you guys see this one, it's probably like a month from now. Um, and this is just so that I can keep consistency and I don't run out of content. Uh, and so hopefully maybe one day I can be doing this full time and just make videos uh, full time 100%. But for now I do have a full time job and so I do these when I can and so I I have them pre-scheduled that way I don't run out of content and stay consistent. So with that said, uh, I do have an idea today. I know I mentioned um, that I wanted to just stick with my my phone to shoot these videos. Let me move back. I'm getting tired. Okay. I, wanted to, I know I mentioned I wanted to just stick with the phone uh, to shoot these videos, but if I'm, uh, but the other day I was I had a video in mind that I wanted to shoot, and I was filming it, and it, it stopped recording. And I don't know when it stopped recording, and so the issue I'm running into is it's it's face, is I have to con constantly delete um, images and videos off the phone so that I can continue to record longer videos, and. I was doing that from the beginning, but then I'm also saving some videos to cut Instagram reels with so I don't delete them right away. And so it's become now a nuisance 
uh, or um, an inconvenience, I should say, probably, to shoot on just the iPhone. And the new iPhone 14 just came out, and I was like, oh, I'll get that. Uh, no. The whole point of this is to shoot with what I have, and I have a lot of things. So I'm more than fortunate enough to have a lot of things to be able to make these videos. I just gotta focus on what I have and make with what I have and make do. So I think with that out of the way, I am now on my professional photography camera, which is a great also uh, camera to shoot with. It's a Canon uh, 6D Mark II for anyone that is interested or cares or wants to know. Um, I am shooting uh, in full HD, so that's great. This was 4K. I don't believe this Canon is 4K, but it is full HD, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, back to today's video. Um, so this is also new because now the format is uh, wide and landscape as opposed to portrait, what I've been shooting most of these on. And so, um, yeah, it's all new today. So for the fit today, uh, the hair today is a little bit different. The hair is fully uh, parted down the middle, draped to the sides. Here we have a souvenir tee, bootleg souvenir tee that I've worn a couple of times now uh, on these videos. Uh, this is from the Palomino Festival, which is like a country Americana music festival up in Pasadena. Um, just one of the genres I'm into. Uh, these are thrifted pants that are actually part of a suit that I thrifted in Vegas this past June for my birthday. Um, and then these on the feet are old Adidas Superstars snakeskin uh, print laced up with gray laces. And then also, I am gonna be wearing this bag today. This bag is my, I originally bought this bag to carry around my film cameras in. Um, and now it's gonna be my bag to carry this around. So that way I don't have to carry like a huge backpack around. Um, so this camera that I'm shooting on is gonna go in here. Uh, and it's great. Uh, it's military style. It's kind of like, these, this is like a classic actually. This is some, the brand is Donkey. This is a classic uh, press bag that made its fame because of its durability. And it's what all like the famous Press, um, I wish to say journalist photographers used to wear back in the day. It's a great bag. I just love the aesthetic and style of it. It has like a military feel for it. Um, it's great for what I'm wearing today. I have a lot of bags that hopefully will be showcased during these video series. Um, but yeah, so the camera that's going there is going to be here. What I'm about to do, just because if I'm totally honest, I'm a little bit... Um, a little bit shy about doing it because um, I'm going to be shooting out in public and it's not just of myself, I'll be interviewing other people. So we'll see if it happens. But while I do have you guys, let me show you guys what I picked up yesterday. So today's Sunday. Uh, yesterday was Saturday. I went to, I think it's called Edward or Edgar and James. It's like a curate, curated Goodwill selection. It looked like just any other Goodwill store, to be honest, when I walked in. Uh, it's here in Long Beach, North Long Beach, near Bixby Knowles. Um, I think I mentioned before there was a really cool Goodwill uh, curated shop out in, I think it was Irvine or Anaheim. This one looks more like a regular Goodwill, but the pieces they had there were definitely more uh, selected pieces. And I would say like more like brand name items, you know? Because um, as you, you know, for, for anyone who's thrifted, you can find any kind of brands at thrift stores. It's not about... And that's what thrifting is, you know? Um, it's just donated pieces and you go there to find whatever you like. So let me show you guys what I got. Uh, first thing that I did pull up, uh, what I feel like I've been needing is like some more shirts. I have a lot of flannels. I have a lot of uh, checkered prints, uh, but I feel like I've been missing out on more dress shirts. Uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of clothes, uh, you know, throughout the years. I just haven't re-upped on dress shirts. Um, so this is what this is. Uh, it's really cool French cuff. This is by Tasso Elba. I believe it's an Italian brand. Doesn't really matter. It's a nice purple, purple striped. Fits kind of nice and loose, and that was kind of the inspiration behind it. So that's why I wanted it uh, to go with like my my white leg trousers that I've been picking up lately. And then I picked up this super cool. Uh, almost like a chore coat. 
it was in the jacket section. It's like the material is kind of like a Dickies workwear sh workwear shirt. Um, it's like in between like a military style and like chore coat style coat. It's really thin. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's not like too thick. So it's a great layering piece. It's an extra large, and so I thought this was really super cool. Extra large. So that's the fit on. And then the, the, the sleeves have like a million buttons on them, well like three, so that you can tighten it. So it goes like that. But I was thinking of like rolling it up, like once I have this all styled together, obviously I'll show you guys in a bit video, but super cool. So I just picked these two pieces up. Today is Sunday, like I said, I'm gonna head out to Retro Row and see if I can do something. But that's the fit for today, guys. See you guys in the next clip. All right, so currently driving around Long Beach, uh, I realized that I forgot that I was gonna make these weekly fit videos, also like a vlog. Um, so I mentioned earlier that I was gonna try to film some videos, and right now, what I wanted to do was make a video on the whole thing. Let me just change the angle real quick. Uh, what I wanted to do was make a video um, very, very similar to all those other videos out there in the fashion streetwear world that people do called What Are People Wearing in a Specific City. So, you know, you've I'm, anyone who watches fashion videos or into fashion, more than likely you guys have seen those videos are usually called, um, you know, what are people wearing in New York? What are people wearing in Paris? What are people wearing in Amsterdam? And all these major cities uh, where fashion is a thing. So I wanted to make a video like that, but Long Beach style. And for those of you guys that don't know or have never been to, um, Long Beach is a super, super dope place. Uh, it's quickly become my home um, and I have lived in a lot of places and Long Beach holds a very special place in my heart. I have now been here for about uh, a little over two years. I moved here right before COVID happened. Uh, crazy time to move here. And when I moved here, everything was shut down. And so the past year for myself has been a year of discovery. Long Beach itself is very eclectic. Uh, it has a lot of charm, has a lot of, um, what's the word, art deco style to the neighborhoods, to the buildings. Fun fact, a lot of movies that are based in Miami are actually filmed in Long Beach, uh, especially because it's near the port, so you get the water aspect. It has a lot of art deco, like I mentioned, so you get that feeling of Miami. Um, but tangent, it, Long Beach itself is just very eclectic. It sits uh, in LA County, uh, but it's right borderline to Orange County. So it's in the middle of LA and, and, and the OC. So there's a lot of great things that happen in Long Beach that I feel like don't get a lot of notoriety and if Long Beach does sound familiar to you Long Beach is known for some of the great 90s hip-hop legends like your boy Snoop Dogg uh, and more recently like uh, Vince Staples and Coda the Friend um, and you know there's a, there's a lot of great people and things that have come out of Long Beach and so I feel like there hasn't been any great things lately um, or maybe like not things that kind of like really blow up Long Beach and I kind of want to blow up Long Beach and I kind of don't want to blow up Long Beach. I have been bragging about this place to my friends and my family for the, ever since I moved here just because of how much I love it here. Uh, and so with this, I want to see and shoot people, people's style, people's ecl uh, eclecticness, eclecticness in Long Beach. Uh, today is Sunday, it's about noon time, and I have to be honest, so I drove down to Retro Row, uh, Retro Row, uh, which is 4th Street, here in Long Beach, and it's called Retro Row because it's where all the vintage shops are at, uh, and it's it's been it's a really cool place here in Long Beach, uh, well known for all the vintage shopping and thrift shopping, and I headed down there first because I figured that'd be a great place to start uh, to get people's outfits, uh, you know, people who usually thrift. Uh, it's you know it's like it's like a it's a hipster thrift area you know uh, and I love it and so I wanted to head down there to see if maybe that'd be a great place to start to to make some videos 
Uh, but it is noontime, and so it's brunch on a Sunday. And Long Beach also has a great brunch scene. And so everyone is just not on the streets. I feel like they're all in the restaurants or in line waiting at the restaurant. So I drove down to downtown to check out that scene, what it's like. And it's also kind of quiet there. So now I'm heading back to Retro Row. And I think what I'm going to do is just I'm going to find a place to park, set up shop, and just camp and kind of walk the streets, maybe walk in and out of some shops and do a little you know, window shopping myself and just kind of see what happens. And so that's what I'm about to do. I just passed the cop with a camera in my hand. I don't think he saw me though. All right, so that was kind of not how I expected it to go, but I did learn something. Um, so it is a Sunday, it's around noon time. To be honest, the streets, the, the sidewalk, was kind of empty. I felt like everyone was either eating or inside the stores, but the street itself was pretty empty. And also, like, everyone was kind of, like, in brunch clothes, like, waking up and going to go grab breakfast clothes. You know, Long Beach is very laid back to begin with, um, and it's not like, you know, like an L.A. scene area. So it's not like people wake up and get dolled up to go get brunch. They people in Long Beach literally just wake up and go get brunch um, so I know that if I stayed a little longer um, I probably would have you know found some fits I did see one dude get out of a really cool old vintage Chevy truck he had on a he had on like a, a really dope wide brim hat the whole fit was really dope he walked into a pizza restaurant and you know he's ordering food and there's already a line so like I didn't want to really want to wait for that guy especially if like he was the only fit that I would have gotten um, don't mind my radar detector, but it, it was a big learning lesson. So I think what I got to try to do is either maybe come back during the week, see what the week looks like, or come back on a Saturday or Friday night. I feel like that might be the move. Uh, see if the streets are a little bit more busy that way, especially Saturday where people are like out and about or, you know, are shopping. Um, not just kind of like going to get brunch and hopping into stores. Also, I myself am hungry. So that was a fail. Um, should have like better prepared um but yeah i do have another video that i want to make today so we'll try that but otherwise no success today but i did learn some things i'm not going to give up i feel like this is going to be a really good video 